Idaho's public health leaders have expanded health care rationing to the entire state. Good evening and thank you for joining us this Thursday night. I'm Todd Coons. And I'm Brie Clark. Crisis standards of care has been activated statewide. It stems from a massive increase in the number of coronavirus patients requiring hospitalization. Today's announcement means that scarce resources such as ICU beds are allotted to patients most likely to survive. Yeah, local News 8's Cole Sams joins us live with how hospitals are reacting to the declaration. Todd Bree, I'm outside of Eastern Idaho Regional Medical Center, where there are many of one of, they're one of many local hospitals that are seeing a dramatic increase in COVID-19 hospitalizations. Now, I spoke with Ermec today, and despite the increase, Ermec will not be making immediate changes to their hospital operations at this time. The hospital is letting the public know that you can still seek health care at the facility, and they are urging the community that the number one way to help out the hospital is to get vaccinated. Today, 30% uh, of our adult inpatients are hospitalized with COVID illness. And like we've uh, seen across the state of Idaho and across the nation, the overwhelming majority of those patients that are ill enough to require hospitalization because of COVID are unvaccinated. Now, late this afternoon, Governor Brad Little toured the hospitals while in town. He learned more about how monoclonal antibody treatments are helping COVID-19 patients out of the hospital. Reporting here in Idaho Falls, I'm Cole Sams. All right, thank you, Cole, for that live report. We want to look a little deeper into our local hospital numbers. Starting with hospitalizations of our two public health districts, 35 people are in the hospital infected with COVID-19 in eastern Idaho. In southeastern Idaho, that number is 40. There are more than 2,000 total active cases between both our health districts in Idaho. Bannock County has the fifth most new cases in the entire state. That is 723 active cases within the county. It is now listed on the state coronavirus website as a COVID-19 hotspot. Meanwhile, there is a positive new prediction from the Centers for Disease Control. The agency believes new daily hospitalizations will decrease in the next four weeks, citing that more than 90% of hospitalizations are those unvaccinated. Their updated chart suggests daily hospitalizations could dip below 10,000 in mid-October.